Hello everyone, good afternoon, great day to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jai. If you're new, welcome. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that great stuff. And we're back with another video from Wanting Entertainment. And this is True Lock, True Horror Lockdown Story. So sit back, relax, chill, keep your feet up. Let's watch. story but is one of my friends her name is Miranda and one day she did her typical morning routines right before school messaging people on snapchat while walking around 20 minutes later she arrived at her school oh. however then she immediately realized the wrong place at the wrong time weird. there was no one outside of the school at first she thought that everyone just entered inside or that she was kind of late, so ended up shrugging off and quickly walked into school. She tried to message I mean, that's what I would think too. But no one responded at that time. No service? But I have full bars on my phone though. The inside of the building was quiet when she entered and she noticed that no there was one. also no one around. She was even more confused and didn't know what to do. She began to walk to her class. As she went past the cafeteria, she saw that there was only one person in there, and his head was down. Oh my God. She was about to pass by, and at that moment, she realized that there was blood below the person. She froze in the spot. Just this then, her is phone not buzzed. Cool. It was a Snapchat notification from one of her friends. Hey. There's a shooter in the building, and the person already shot a few people. Uh-oh. Obviously, Miranda freaked out at that moment. She started to run out of the building. To tell the truth, Miranda was a very lucky girl. As Miranda ran out of the building... Where's the police? Where's the sirens at? I don't hear anything. ...that was next to the exit didn't see her because he was stabbing a student at the same time. Uh -oh. After the cops entered the building, the massive killer already killed himself. Fortunately, almost everyone was evacuated, but there were a total of seven deaths seven. and over a dozen injured. One of Miranda's friends, who didn't respond to her, was one of the people that were killed. Oh my God! Actually, her friend was the one in the cafeteria that was laying his head down. Wow. Miranda eventually went to the police station to watch the security footage, and as she watched the video, it turned out that the man stabbing someone in the office slowly raised the gun and pulled the trigger towards her running to the exit. What? However, he ended up failing because the gun was out of bullets. Although the school now has more security guards all around the building, Along with more police officers I mean, where was and more cameras before? and metal detectors around all areas, she doesn't go to that school anymore. If he had one more bullet, she would have been a goner. She thanks God every day that she eventually had survived from hell. Man, that's tough. At school, I heard situation like this. A lot of situations, school shooters. You're not safe in certain situations. It's just crazy. Crazy. Always crazy. So, yeah. Tell me, guys, what you think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have the most awesome, positive day. Today, some guys. Peace.